Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB 16 franchise playthrough with the New York Mets. Um, before I start this video, please support my channel by clicking the like, clicking the like button and letting me know that you want to see more videos like this coming out soon. Um, last video I did, um, we ended up beating Miami 7-1 to uh, and then we faced against the Marlins here. I think we went to extra innings and we ended up winning um, with a walk-off. I don't remember what scoring was i believe there's a home run in the end oh yeah it was curtis grandison hitting a walk off in the end winning at 4-3 um next game jose fernandez was actually pitching so i decided out of respect i was going to simulate that and marlins ended up bringing 7-1 um next game we had we faced the nationals where we destroyed 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 them uh we ended up 12 to 1 um Let's take a look at the scoring breakdown here. We had Duda and Granison hit a home run. Actually, Granison had two. And we had a bunch of RBIs from almost everybody. Reyes, Wright, Conforto, Cespedes, Duda, Granison, Darno. Um, center being Matt's, I believe, his 20th one of the season. Um, out pitching Matt Scherzer. Uh, he's tw Matt's is now 20-2. He pitched with 10 strikeouts. Um, I know that was a quick summarization, but I'm going to be talking about what's been going on lately here in real life um, as I get this game started. Okay, so as I said, I want to talk about what's going on in real life. Holy shit, the Mets have made the playoffs. We made the playoffs. We, the fans, made the playoffs. The Seven Line made the playoffs. Holy crap, I never expected out of a million years that we would come out as number one wildcard spot. Um, I'm looking on Mets blog here, and or Mets Daily, I think. No, Mets blog. Saying that before, uh, I think it was August 21st, the Mets were 60 and 60 and 62. I think that's August 21st. And somehow, somehow they were able to get out of it. It was just craziness and then let me let me just check um what happened here um let me look up the stats from uh from the season here because there's some crazy stuff here let me read it right here okay so on august 21st i believe yeah the Mets were 16 and 62. There were seven, seven and a half games out of the first wild card spot and eight and a half behind uh, the second spot. And then um, after that, the Mets, over the next 40 games, they went 27 and 13. That's a 67% winning percentage and just tore shit up. I mean, all I remember it was Terry Collins going off on the team, saying how much they suck, basically against uh i think it was the padres i remember watching it live i was i was like wow this season's basically over and then you had all these injuries you had duda out for like almost half i think probably half the year um yeah we had duda out for, for a long time lagaris was out and then we ended up losing harvey who wasn't pitching well anyway and then we had we're losing mats the grom um david wright uh, who else did we lose? Uh, Neil Walker we lost for the season for surgery. And, you know, all these injuries happened slowly throughout the season. I was like, oh, the season's over. Um, let's just wait until next year until they get healthy. Then all of a sudden, they just caught fire. Um, people who probably wouldn't uh, perform, performed. Um, you guys got, got like guys like TJ Rivera. You guys, uh, people who've been called up just recently, all of a sudden... Doing work, getting base hits in. And then we got Jose Reyes has been a big, 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 big part of this. I don't care what anyone says. You could say that he shouldn't be on the team. He did a he's he's doing a great job on the team. He's he's been doing fantastic. Um he's just a good energy for the team, good spark. He, they finally have a base runner who can actually cause some cause some uh, havoc along the ba the base paths. And then we have Ashubal Cabrera all of a sudden catching fire as well. Um, he's been doing fantastic. And yeah, everybody, everybody's hitting. Jay Bruce has finally woke up at the end of the season. So hopefully his bat stays hot against uh, the Giants on Wednesday. And yeah, the Mets, you know, I hate to say this, if the Mets lose on Wednesday... 
I'm not even gonna be mad. I mean, granted, I do want to see them play further into playoffs, but the Mets right now, honestly, is not a team that's it wasn't built to go far into the season, and I don't I have no idea how they did this. It was some freaking miracle. Hopefully, they stay hot. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the uh, the record. They went. What is it? Again, they went. Uh, 27 to 13. You know, people say that the only reason they made it is because of the strength of schedule, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, if you're half half your big hitters or you know your pitching rotation is out, you know, strength of schedule doesn't mean anything. Honestly, um, my brother and I were talking about it. Maybe Terry Collins should get at least a few votes for MVP or uh, for uh. What is that for manager of the year? We all know that uh, Madden's going to win from the Cubs because they are playing so well. Um, but at least get him a few votes in there. This this man had nothing to work with. He went off on them and they turned things around. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's continue on with uh, my commentary for the game. And um, let's go, Mets. Uh, you can catch the real game, I believe. Let's see. Let me, let me double check it for the... Uh, Official thing here. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Let's see. I believe they're playing on Wednesday. As I'm on my phone here, as I'm recording this, this is kind of multitasking difficulty here. And let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the Mets play tomorrow. They are playing in City Field. Um, both teams are 87 and 75. Um, it starts at 8 p.m. It's on ESPN. Hopefully, Syndergaard can outpitch uh, Bumgarner. Um, I know I went to the game when it was a Syndergaard versus Bumgarner. It was a rainy, rainy day. And, you know, the Giants got the better of them. But this is what the, before the Mets turn things around. Hopefully, Madison gets uh, struggles a little bit. And hopefully, the Mets can get to him so we can face the Cubs. Um, I'm pretty sure the Mets want to get... Uh, another sweep in there and uh yeah let's go Mets if you guys are going to the game let me know in the comments below um I wish I could be there I'm actually working that night but best believe I will have my ESPN app on playing um again that's the game is on this Wednesday um at 8 p.m and we have no Syndergaard versus Madison Bumgarner so let's go let's win oh and two to Daniel Murphy here with the mana first and that's a swing and a miss. That's a slide on the inside. Getting Daniel Murphy swinging. Oh, one, two. Two, Jason Worth. Harvey deals again. Got him swinging with a fastball. That's back to back strikeouts. Oh, one, two. Danny Spinoza. That's a swing and a miss. That's three strikeouts in a row for Matt Harvey to end the inning. Oh, and two to Ben Revere here. Another strikeout. No. One, two to Ben Revere here. Oh, one and two rather after the ball. And that is gone. Yoannis Cespedes with his 50th home run hitting off the second deck. What a bomb. It's now 6 nothing Mets. I was on 0-2 in the count. Strasburg was pitching me low, so guess what? I was waiting for another low pitch. He just absolutely crushed that ball into left field. And the Mets fans continue their party. Number 50 going 100, 450 feet. Let's take a look at the replay, monkeys. Boom. No doubter for Yoannis. As he hits... A home run off the second deck. That's another strikeout for Matt Harvey, striking out Bryce Harper. He is on fire. That's going to be a play at the plate after Jose's single. And he's safe. Travis Darno safe after the um, the Jose Reyes single. And is now 8-1 to one Mets. Right. 
That's a base hit for Conforto. I actually made an error uh, when I was making commentary before. And now it is eight to nothing Mets. I was actually looking at the hit column. Um, yeah, so it's still a shutout. Eight nothing Mets. Conforto drives in another run. And it's another home run for Cespedes. And it is an upper deck shot as a three run home run for you on a Cespedes. And this game is completely blown open. Completely, completely, completely blown open. That's the second home of the game. Oh my gosh, he killed it. He killed that ball right over the restaurant. Right onto upper deck field. Or the upper deck on left field. Oh my gosh, that was a killer. That's his 51st home of the year, going 451 feet. Um, going farther than his other home run. Let's take a look at our replay here. Hung that in there, no doubter. See you later. Into the stands. One and two to Wilson Ramos after the foul ball. Two outs. Gom swinging with a curveball. He is just mowing everybody down. We got Murphy out on the last uh, play of the game. And we end up winning 11 to 1. Matt Harvey with another fantastic outing. And this man completely destroyed the ball. Yoannis Cespedes. Three hits. Two home runs, I believe, four RBIs. Um, he has 51 home runs of the year now. Matt Harvey got his 25th one of the year. Got 12 Ks. Four hits, one earned run. And let's see who's going to be the player of the game for the Mets. Let's fast forward here a little bit. Ends up being Ioannis, of course. Again, he had two home runs, two bombs, two bombs, man. It was just amazing. Um, so anyway, that wraps it up for this video from MLB 16 Franchise Playthrough. Um, please click the like button if you haven't already to support my channel. Blah, blah. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already too. And leave any comments below. And before I finish the video, let's go Mets!